I was laying in my bunk and I felt the whole boat shake four levels up. This was something beyond what I could fathom. 60 knot winds, 30 foot seas. I knew it was going to take everything that Canada and the United States Coast Guard had. ARC Search and Rescue, bonjour. We were alerted through our Coast Guard radio station that a vessel was on fire. Due to the weather and uh, the circumstances behind their, their distress, we reached out to our SAR partners, including the U.S. Coast Guard. They said it was taking on water approximately 200 miles or more off of uh, Cape Cod, so we launched to go 200 miles offshore into the dark to assist. When you look down at the vessel in distress, the Atlantic Destiny, it was just out of control. It was just at the mercy of the wind and the waves. It's not every day you get to f see a large vessel like that being battered by uh, a significant sea state. You could see it in their faces, they were starting to be concerned. Some of the older guys, they've been around, they know uh, how many vessels get lost out here, and you know, they've been around the block. I kept thinking that I wanted to get home, and knowing that there was people being lifted and going home gave me hope that I would join them as well. We were still trying to rescue people and then uh, my helicopter ended up having a major malfunction. I had to make the choice to leave my own crew members on that vessel and leave with who I had on board and try and make it back to shore. Helicopter's gone, nothing I can do about that. This rescue still needs to happen and I could see the Jayhawks starting to come in. And we have to now divide and conquer with both 60s. We moved in position, we uh, jettisoned our mask rescue operations raft and um, deployed our pump to the vessel in order to make room for all the survivors. I could hear over all the noise and through my headset, uh, all, the, all the guys in the back just cheering like as you know, I'm pulling another person in. Hearing that like, okay, we can get one more, we, we can get one more. Um, so that's what we did. We are honored to be with you today to talk about some extraordinary Coast Guard men and women that did extraordinary things. It was just, it was teamwork at its finest. I mean, by every agency involved. Something went wrong at every step and it was rectified and we just kept going to the point where everyone made it back to shore. Everybody took their job seriously and made sure that we were all going to get home safe. It makes everything worth it, being able to see a family reunited after a case like that. 